Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate how to wait for the presence of an element in Selenium. So let's get started. So in the previous session, I covered how to wait for an element to be visible on the web page. Now I'm going to cover how to wait for the presence of element on the page. So what is the difference between visible and present? Both look same, right? Whether you are waiting for an element to be visible on the web page, looks similar to waiting for the presence of the element on the web page, but there is a small difference. Okay, between these two commands, there is a difference. Coming to the waiting for an element to be visible, okay, hidden elements cannot be considered here. Okay, so hidden elements are not considered as visible by this command. That is, visibility of element located command will not consider the hidden elements. Even though the hidden element is there on the HTML code, but it's not visible on the page, then it will wait only for the elements which are visible, but not hidden, right? But what about this one? Wait for the presence of element. Unlike visible, it will wait for the hidden elements. Okay, the only difference between visible and present is here, hidden elements which are not visible on the page, but are present in the HTML code of your page are also considered as present, okay? Their presence, their presence is there. Okay, that's what is the difference. Other than that, both are same. Here, hidden elements are not considered as visible. Here, hidden elements are considered as present. So let me demonstrate how to use this command. I'll show you with hidden element in this case. Okay, so for that, uh, I'll just go here. And uh, this code will open the Chrome browser in Selenium Python, maximize the browser window, and it has to open the application URL. Let me open the browser and open this application URL. Copy this URL and paste it here. On this application, on this application, there is one hidden element. Here, guys. You see, under this hidden button label, there is a hidden button available. I'll inspect this label so that I cannot inspect the hidden button, which is not visible on the page. Somewhere here, we have this, uh, you know, with this hidden attribute is there. This particular button is becoming hidden. You cannot see what's, see the element, but it's a button which is in hidden state. It's only there in the HTML code, but not on the, not visible on the page. If you use that command, waiting waiting mechanism command for waiting the presence of the element, that is presence of element located command, if you use, it will wait for that element, okay? It will wait for the hidden button also. Hidden elements are also considered as present in this case. So I'll copy this uh, ID of this particular button and, uh, you know, I'll write something here, like, uh, I'll create an object for web driver wait first of all. And uh, I'll say driver comma, maximum time that I can wait for that hidden button is 30 seconds, let's say. Apart from the normal, you can also work with normal elements. After clicking on the drop down button, you can wait for the present presence of this element. Flip card option also you can wait. Okay. Apart from that, I'm I'm checking this with a hidden element. Okay. That works for that option, flip card option. I'll show you both then otherwise. Okay. Here I'll say wait. Uh wait dot until your expected conditions dot presence of element located. Presence of element, not elements, element you just take. Okay. Inside this provide circular brackets. And here inspect this uh, drop down button first. I need to click on the drop down button and then I have to wait for the flip card option, presence of the flip card option. Okay. After clicking on the drop down button, I have to wait for the presence of the flip card option. You see, first drop down button. And when I inspect this drop down button, it has a class. I'll copy this and I'll write the code here driver dot find element. I don't have to wait for this drop down button. Okay, so I have to wait only for the flip card option. Say dot click. After clicking on this drop down button, I'll get this flip card option. It's nothing but the link text. I'll copy this and here write down by dot link text, comma, provide the link text here. It's nothing but which option? Flip card option. Flip card, flip card underscore option is equal to. Okay. I'll go here. Flipkart option dot click. Flipkart option dot click. So after that, just for demo purpose, you know, I'll give time dot sleep here. Time dot sleep. Let's say, yeah, three seconds. And after that, I'll quit the browser. Driver dot like this. You see, this element will work in the same fashion the way the previous session element works. That is a uh, 
visibility of element located and presence of element located work in the same fashion for this kind of elements which are kind of visible on the page. These are not hidden elements, right? They're visible. The command will work same for visibility and also presence also will be same. That's not the actual difference, right? It will work though. You can either use visibility of element located or presence of element located in case of flip card option. You see here, you see it works. It clicked on the flip card option of, after waiting. It worked for the flip card option, yes. Okay, it worked for the flip card option because it is visible. So it can be considered as present also. But now what about the, I'll remove this part and apply this for the hidden button. There was a hidden button I told you, right? Here there was a hidden button on the page. That is uh, this, uh, just give me a second. Let me find the hidden button somewhere here. You see this is the hidden button and inspect this label. Somewhere here near the label, we have this hidden button. which with the hidden attribute. It has an ID. Can I wait for the presence of the element located for that uh, hidden button? Yes, that is possible. That, that's what I told you, right? If you use visibility of element located, it will not wait for the hidden button because visibility is important. Hidden, hidden buttons are not visible on the web page. The presence of element located will check whether this particular hidden button is available in the HTML code. Even though it's not visible on the page, whether it is there in the HTML code of the page, it will check. If it is there, it will wait for that and perform the operation, whatever that is, okay? I don't want to perform any operation here, but uh, just want to see whether it is waiting. Without an exception, if it is working, means everything is fine. Hidden button. So I'll do one thing. I'll get the this value, attribute value, okay? For this hidden button, I want to get this particular text out of the button. How to get the text? So I'll simply say hidden button dot dot uh, what was the command? Text command is one command. This command will not work here actually. So that's a problem. So let me check what is the command. So that is dot get underscore attribute. Okay, if you remember this command, here we have to provide the name of the attribute that is value. In this case, what is the attribute? Value. Attribute name is value. It's value it hidden button. Okay, which is nothing but the label of this button will be retrieved. Okay. So it will get the label of the button with the help of the value attributes value. Button label. Button label. Hidden button label also you can write. Hidden button label. You see, you are able to work on the hidden button now here, and we are waiting for this button to be present on the page. And after that, we're performing the operation, like uh, retrieving the label text of the button, etc. Okay, print off uh, hidden button label. Now run the script and see whether it is uh, you know working or not. It should get the label of that button, hidden button. So if if it is not waiting, if the presence of element located command is not waiting for that hidden button, right? It will give an exception immediately. You see, it has waited and you know it worked. Hidden button, right? We didn't get any exception. That means it's waiting for the presence of hidden element, which is not possible with the help of visibility of element located. So hope guys you understood uh, uh, like what exactly is this command that is presence of element located and uh, how can we use this command to wait for the presence of the element, including the hidden elements on the web page, which is not possible with the help of visibility of element located, will not wait for the hidden elements. Whereas presence of uh, the presence of element located command will wait for the element hidden elements also on the web page. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.